Hi there, this is Jess from The Rated Kitchen. Thanks for joining me today for this episode of our creative cooking class. Today's menu is a Mediterranean inspired meal. The first component is going to be a pan sear chicken breast with a roasted red pepper and tomato herb sauce. Next, we have a crunchy couscous salad followed by baked falafel, so it's a healthy version, and it's that tzatziki sauce to dip it in. Lastly, we have a cauliflower dish that will be roasted with garlic and lemon. Let's get started. So to start off our first dish, which will be our pan seared chicken breast, I'm gonna go ahead and half the chicken with my utility knife, and then we're gonna pound this out to about a quarter of an inch. So I'm gonna come right down the middle Being careful at the end as the chicken breast gets thin. So we'll take our two pieces of chicken breast, cover that with wax paper. This is gonna prevent any tiny bits from flying across the room and go ahead and pound them out. Okay, so we're gonna get our chicken breast seasoned with one of my favorite Greek seasonings. It's just an all-purpose Greek seasoning. And you can find this at almost any supermarket. Okay, so what we're doing next is getting ready for our couscous. So I've got a hot pot of water that I'm bringing up to a boil. I'm gonna get my garlic ready. So I have my French chef's knife and I have found this is one of the easiest ways to peel garlic. So you just place it over, give it a couple smacks, discard the peel, and it's ready to go in your pot. So now we have our water boiling with our garlic clove down. What I'm going to do is take a little scoop of organic refined coconut oil, refined because it doesn't have the coconut flavor. Then to this, I'm gonna add some seasoning, so just basic sea salt and cracked pepper, and to that, I'm going to add our couscous mix. So here we have whole wheat couscous, brown rice, wild rice, and some quinoa. And you can use any blend that you like. This is just the one that I prefer. So in the pot we go. This is gonna get covered and it's gonna sit and I'm gonna take it off the heat. And when I come back to it, it's gonna be ready to become fluffed. And then we're gonna add the crunchy components to our couscous salad. Okay, so I have my couscous set off to the side with the lid on, and I'm just gonna let that rest until I'm ready for it because we're gonna end up serving that at room temperature. So it's gonna sit until I'm ready to add in my crunchy components. Now I'm ready for my chicken breast to go down in my pan. So I have my pan preheated, a couple tablespoons of that organic coconut oil down, and I'm gonna go ahead and take two of my breasts and let them sear. After I get a nice sear on them, I'm gonna pull them off, let them rest, and they will finish cooking in the sauce that we're gonna make next. Okay, so moving on to our sauce component, just gonna pop some garlic cloves, discard the shell, and give it a rough chop. Using my French chef's knife, And one more time through. Pick that up and we'll set that off to the side. Next we have some fresh parsley and fresh oregano. So I'm going to grab a good heaping handful of those two and again just a rough chop. Lastly, we have a lemon that I'm gonna thinly slice. Now we're ready to make our sauce. Okay, now we are gonna make the sauce component to our dish. First, we're gonna deglaze the pan. 
So we have all these nice little brown bits from the chicken cooking in here. To this, you can add either wine, cooking wine, or even chicken stock to make the broth. So in it goes. And all that bubbling action is gonna bring up all those tasty bits off the pan, and it's also gonna create a nice caramel color. To this, I have my chopped garlic and I have a combination of roasted red peppers and roasted tomatoes. You can roast them yourself at about 350 degrees in the oven for about an hour and a half or you can buy them store bought, whichever is easiest. So here we go, down in the pan. And this whole sauce is gonna reduce down. So I'm gonna give this a little stir. Next my chopped parsley and oregano, and those thinly sliced lemons. Okay, so now we have all the components of our sauce down in the pan. We're gonna let that come up to a simmer, reduce down, and then we're gonna add our chicken breast back into the pan so it can continue to cook through. Okay, so now that our sauce has come up to a simmer, I'm gonna add two more components. That's going to be our capers, which are gonna give it a nice bite and then some um, artichokes that I have quartered. And we're gonna reserve the half, other half of this pan for our couscous salad. So now we're ready for our chicken and that's gonna go down. Now we can let it continue to cook. So we have my pot simmering with the chicken breast down. And what's nice is that those capers and artichokes are gonna bring a salty element to the dish. So I'm just gonna drop my heat down to low and let this sit off to the side to let that sauce continue to reduce. Next, we're gonna prepare our baked falafel. Traditionally, falafel is fried, but we're making a healthier version of this. So we're gonna combine all of our ingredients in the blender, roll it, put it on a greased baking sheet and it's gonna pop into the oven at 425 for about 10 to 12 minutes per side so that it crisps up. The first component to our dish is going to be, of course, the chickpeas, great source of protein. So I have two cans here that I've already drained. You could, of course, um, make your own at home. You could soak them overnight, otherwise you can boil them on the stove. So these are ready to go into my blender. See if I can get them all in here without dropping them. There we go. All right, to this I'm gonna add some lemon juice. A fresh red onion. Just take the skin off. And we don't need to chop it because it's gonna puree, but I'm gonna give it just a rough there we go. Half with my French chef's knife. Toss those in. I have some fresh parsley that are gonna go down. Quick season with salt and pepper. And then here I have some organic brown rice flour, about a quarter of a cup. This is just gonna help tighten up that batter. So in, a dash of olive oil. All right, let's go ahead and puree this on high. All right, so to get the consistency that we want for our baked falafel, I've added just a little bit more of the brown rice flour. So I'm gonna use my mix and scrape spatula to combine these ingredients. And then we're gonna roll them up, toss them on my greased baking sheet, and put them in our 425 degree oven. So all the ingredients are going to be incorporated nicely. You can see we have a pretty green color from our bright parsley that we put in earlier. It's gonna have a nice citrus note with the lemon juice that we've added, and that's looking just about right. All right, so take a nice scoop of our batter, 
and we're going to create a patty. So just gently tossing back and forth and onto our greased baking sheet. All right, let's get our baked falafel going. So into the 425 degree oven, after about 10 or 12 minutes, we'll flip these over. All right, let's start working on the components to our crunchy Mediterranean couscous salad. First, we're gonna prep our veggies. So I have one large cucumber and the rate of vegetable peeler, and I'm just going to do some nice strips. Do it right into my garbage bowl here. So we're gonna leave a little bit on for texture and color. Just a few more strips and we're ready to chop. All right, let's prep some veggies. So I'm gonna take my cucumber using my French chef's knife, cutting it in half and we're just going to cut it into cubed sections. Set this guy off to the side. Perfect. Let's get these over into the bowl. Okay, so we're gonna slice the onion. Just coming in. few more. Perfect. And into our veggie bowl. Okay, the last component to our dish is going to be some crunchy kale that we're going to toss in. So again, rough chop. And give that board a turn and go at it again. This will be the last step before we dress it with a lemon and red wine vinaigrette. Give it a good toss and it's ready to go until we're ready to eat. All right, let's make the herb vinaigrette that we're gonna put over our couscous salad. So we're gonna do um, equal parts of acid to oil. So I'm gonna use some red wine vinegar down in our bowl and I'm just gonna eyeball this couple fresh squeezes of lemon juice and I've already taken out a few of the seeds. If a few fall down, not a big deal. We're just gonna go ahead and scoop those out. Okay, now our olive oil. And this will be your one part to three. I'm gonna grab my handy stir and give it a whisk. little bit of salt and pepper. The leftover chopped fresh oregano and parsley. And one more stir. Perfect. Now let's finish the couscous salad. So completely cooked all the way through. We're going to fluff the couscous combination. So in here again, we have the brown rice, the wild rice, the whole wheat couscous, and some quinoa. All right, to this I'm going to add some grape tomatoes. You can keep them whole or you can chop them if you like. In this bowl, we have the kale, the cucumber, and the sliced red onion. All going down. Kalamata olives and the rest of our artichoke. Get our dressing down on that. And we're gonna top that with a little bit of salt and pepper and our feta cheese. Give that a nice big stir all the way from the bottom up to marry all those flavors. This salad is bright and flavorful and it's super healthy. All right, let's flip our falafel. So go ahead and pull those out. They've been on for about 12 minutes. All right, after about 10 to 12 minutes, let's give these guys a flip. Nice and golden brown. 
and you will be amazed at how crunchy these are even without frying. And if you have to get in there with your hands, that's okay. Perfect, let's get those back in. All right, so back in our 425 degree oven for about 10 more minutes. Now for one of my favorite sauces ever. This is our tzatziki sauce, traditional Greek cucumber dipping sauce. It's creamy, light, and delicious. So what I'm going to do is take a couple heaping spoonfuls of Greek yogurt. This is plain, it has no flavor to it. And that's gonna go on top of some um, English cucumber that I have shredded. Now, if you've never used an English cucumber before, these are great because the seeds are very minimal and not big and hearty like they are in the bigger traditional cucumbers. So that's in. To that, I'm gonna add my chopped garlic, salt and pepper, of course, and then a squeeze of fresh lemon juice. And that's it. Combine that all together. And we have the dipping sauce for our baked falafel. For our last dish, we have the roasted cauliflower with lemon zest and garlic. So I have a head of cauliflower here. I'm just gonna break it up and then we'll do a rough chop before tossing it with some olive oil, the garlic, the lemon zest, and of course some salt and pepper. It's quick, it's easy, and it's delicious. Okay, so for our super easy cauliflower, we're gonna put down just a coat of extra virgin olive oil, my chopped garlic and zested lemon, salt and pepper. Give it a good toss. Squeeze of lemon juice. And into the oven it goes at 425 degrees for about 10 minutes. Thanks again so much for joining me on today's episode of the Creative Cooking Class. Be sure to visit our website at ratacutlery.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more recipes like this one. Thanks again.